Hi there, Tiffany here, and I'd like to show you how I'm doing the little dot border on the polka dot heart blanket. And I've just got a little sample swatch. I've just worked half double crochet in between the posts stitch, and I just finished a row I have not turned. I just worked the last stitch. So You'll of course have your big blanket, but I just want to give you a sample of how I got the first row started. Is that when I finished, I just chained one. And then I worked a half double crochet, per, one per row down the side of the blanket. So hopefully those will be easy to see. I'm just working um, one half double crochet per row. And when I get to the corner, I will work three half double crochets around the corner. So here I am in the corner. I'm going to work one. Here's another half double crochet, two, and three. Okay, now I'm going to continue down across the bottom. And I'm still on the bottom now. I'm going to insert my hook again between the half double crocheted posts kind of wrapping the yarn around that bottom starting chain and just working a half double crochet so this stitch if you can see it will go in between the posts i really like using this stitch with this um, burnat blanket tiny yarn because it's so uh, fluffy and tiny so it's really hard for me to see the tops of stitches so I like to just go um, in between okay so I'm at my last space and now I will work three around that corner so there's one here's two and you could tell that's my tail for my starting chain kind of ignore that I'll weave that in later now I'm going to work right back up that side and that third one kind of counts as the first one on the side. So I will work a one half double crochet per edge of the blank, per row on the edge. And here we go. I'm right back at the start. Sorry, I need to get some more yarn out of this. And what we need to do next is go ahead i'm going to work so here's my starting one i'm just going to go ahead and work one more because the starting one kind of would be the third um the third one in that corner and all i'm going to do is slip stitch underneath that next space so that it kind of joined the corner together just arrange that so here's my little piece I've just worked one row of half double crochet around now to get the little dots started all I did is chain up three two three and then I'm going to yarn over and come back and try and find it's so tricky to see it but just kind of stick your hook in there and hopefully you'll see just under one of those loops of the first chain that you chained go ahead and work half of a double crochet we're going to double crochet five together so here's my second one and i'm just working under two loops yarning over inserting my hook yarning over pulling up a loop yarning over and just still pulling through two loops i've done three now i've got four on my hook four little loops now i'm going to do the fourth one and one last one. Okay. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through all of those six loops. Okay. And what happens is this yarn naturally just wants to curl together. So all I'm going to do is slip stitch down to the next space not the space I started I'm going to go to the next space and slip stitch it down onto the edge then I'm going to slip stitch over two more times 
for a total of three and start all over. Let's go up one, two, three. I'm going to do five double crochets together into that first chain. There was one, here's two, here's three, here's four, and five. Count the loops if you're, there should be six. Pull through, it magically wants to just fold in on itself and slip stitch over the next two spaces or three spaces, sorry, one, two, and I found it did not matter about doing extras in the corner, of course, just slip over. Um, if you feel like your corner, you were, you're, when you get to them, you're stretching too much around, feel free to only slip stitch over one or two times, um, but I found it was fine to just continue on the slip stitching over three, chain three, five double crochets and get that worked around the whole border. Now I am really liking how this looks, especially with this blanket yarn. And my, I am just like, oh, I would love to do this little border with this yarn around, uh oh, I'm talking and I'm messing up, but around like a flannel blanket, or I just think that would be so cute. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I have one, two, three, four, five? Yes. Pull through. There we go. And just slip stitch on down to the next space. And keep going. Slip stitch over. And then when you get um, finished, you know, you just join with a slip stitch right there. And you have got yourself a darling little pom-pom border. So really, I think you could put this on anything but I really think it looks cute with this. Let me show you what yarn I'm using. I'm using an H hook. And a lot of people ask me, I love these Susan Bates grip hooks. I just buy them at Joann's. Um, this is Burnett Blanket Tiny. So I love working with that. Um, so anyway, hopefully that helps you to get your little dot border on any project actually that you wish. All right, thanks for coming by. Coming by.